what's going on everyone it's marcellus back with another video and we got to go over these technicals with dogecoin and we also have some news with dogecoin and crypto in general so looking at what we have today here as you can see we are testing some heavy resistance right now at 24 cents we cannot pass 24 cents right now and that is definitely going to result in us going down lower having a little bit of a correction and then testing our support so then we can come back up and pass this resistance but yeah we have some heavy resistance here at 24 cents does not want to break 24 cents here at all so honestly this is good and it is i would say not bad but it is good because that means that we do have a projection that we're going to continue on uptrend as you can see this is a constant uptrend right here and yes we are consolidating but it does seem like we are not going to break out of this and we did not break out of it back here either we got up to 24 cents but that was all we just could not pass it at all so that resistance is really heavy right there and then again we did not want to continue to pass 24 cents we are stuck in like in the middle 24 30 24 50 somewhere around there so we're more than likely going to not pass this resistance again and if we do that will also be that will be very good but you can kind of see this downtrend right here so is trying to pass the resistance here could not pass it so we came back to retest this level here and possibly we could continue to try to pass it again but more than likely not because we already tried about three times here and just like back here with the consolidation one two and then the third time we really could not do it so then we had to retest support at 21 cents came down and then tried to retest the resistance at 24 cents but we could not do it again so possibly we could break out possibly not so that is what we have there with the technicals so it is uh you know hit and miss or not but you know whatever happens though those coin is going to prevail in the long term that's the only thing that truly matters here with those coins so really the technicals don't matter that much i just like to go over them because it's definitely important for the uh you know short-term traders day traders all that definitely need to know what they're doing there but um yeah we we already came to such low points here that even another drop again would not harm us because we've already had so many different drops here inside those coins so it just wouldn't harm us at all but anyways let's move on so 30 billion dollars inside of those coin right now so that's our good market cap to have right now and we want to see more and more and more and more money flowing through those coin but in the future we can get that but right now this is where we're at so good looking good over here and uh those coin whales over here still looking good those coin whales are being made every single day it is the 24th of june right now so these are the last ends which will tell you the last time a purchase was made and looking for last time purchases were made this one was made on the 24th so they bought some today bought lots of those coins today so a lot of these whales are still stacking up their those coins so that means if a billionaire is doing it we're going to be doing it as well right so i follow what all these rich people are doing because whatever they're doing that's what i'm going to want to be doing because they obviously have a strategy for making money and it's helping and it's working for them look at this they're buying millions of dollars worth of dogecoin every single day left and right so whatever they're doing that's exactly what i want to be doing so lots of these whales out here are making lots of profit you know a lot of them are day trading and then a lot of them you know they're just long-term hodling like this one's day trading buying and selling lots of dogecoin and they're profiting off it i guess so uh they bought in here at 22 cents sold it at 23 cents so that's a um that's a big profit right there it's pretty good and um more dogecoin whales are still doing the same thing uh let's see over here um this one right here purchased some more dogecoin yesterday millions and millions and millions but then the day previous they sold millions and millions and millions so gotta watch out because a lot of them are just day trading and profiting but there's also a lot of them that are holding for the long term but none of that matters all that matters is that you know exactly what you're gonna do but the best option is to buy and hold like this dogecoin whale bought a few days ago or actually no yesterday this dogecoin whale bought 24 million dollars of dogecoin at 22 cents so they believe is definitely going to continue to rise i do too so enough of the whales though look at this bitcoin machines are being put all over us all over el salvador everywhere so these bitcoin machines you can do dogecoin you can do bitcoin whatever you want inside of these machines you can pay for gas there you can do a lot with this stuff so this is definitely pretty cool that we're starting to have these actual atm machines all over the world there's a lot here inside florida and i'm pretty sure there's a lot everywhere else right 
and um, inside El Salvador, they're actually building a lot of those machines. So this is the plan for Dogecoin, Elon Doge, Coinbase already on there, Robinhood, and then Moon. What they mean with Robinhood is the crypto wallets. They're going to be making wallets on Robinhood so that people can actually transfer their Dogecoin to other wallets. And that will be very good for Dogecoin because Robinhood is like one of the largest holders of Dogecoin. We actually believe the top Dogecoin whale to be Robinhood. They claim that they're not, but they also claimed a lot of stuff that was true. So uh, we don't know which one is them or not. So could be them, could not be them. Either way, we know someone is holding that top wallet. And then the second wallet is also filled with money. And then this third wallet filled with a bunch of money in Dogecoin. So a lot of these wallets are huge Dogecoin whales. Like this Dogecoin whale two days ago spent $5.4 million. You know, who, who just has a spare $5.4 million just laying around? Billionaires do. That's why they have a total of $1 billion in Dogecoin. So yeah, that's a lot of money in Dogecoin. And um, yeah, Dogecoin, Elon Doge, remember he's sending a SpaceX spaceship to the moon. Well, SpaceX satellite to the moon, a Doge satellite. So that's going to go to the moon. It's called Doge One. And then the Coinbase, we're already on Coinbase. And then Robinhood with their crypto wallets. And then the moon. So that's pretty much the, uh, you know, <laughs> the plan here with Dogecoin. And they're holding a little Slim Jim because Slim Jim is like the biggest Dogecoin supporter. Slim Jim 24 seven, just posting Dogecoin memes left and right. They don't do anything else but post Dogecoin memes here. It's all about Dogecoin here on Slim Jim. And they've actually grown their Twitter a lot doing this. So this was actually a good plan for them. So Twitter is really good right now with all these di different memes with Dogecoin and all. But anyways, enough with all of this craziness, right? So we have some news here with Dogecoin and we have some news with crypto in general. So, right, here's how much Bitcoin is worth. This is what JP Morgan says. And remember, they were spreading FUD about all cryptos at first. They were spreading FUD saying everything's going down everything's gonna go down and they said you know they're pretty much telling everyone to sell then once everyone sold they come back in and then they're like um we're actually gonna be buying because that's what they wanted they wanted people to sell at a very low price so then they can buy and jack the price up and when that happens they profit off it huge so they shake the weak hands out and buy your shares for or your crypto for a very low price and then they stack it up and sell it at a higher price so pretty much what's going on here so they're saying stocks are set to continue to inching higher and higher as markets relax about inflation you know there's been so much about inflation but uh so much fud has been spread around here but um let's scroll down here and see what jp morgan chase has to say so jp morgan views bitcoin as having a theoretical target price of hundred forty thousand dollars. why does this matter it matters because dogecoin follows bitcoin Bitcoin at 140k would probably put Dogecoin at one dollar, so that is something that you really need to think about. Because Bitcoin at sixty-three thousand dollars, Dogecoin was at about mm, sixty-three thousand dollar. Bitcoin had Dogecoin around like seventy cents, but then you have 140k that they're predicting, so 140k would probably bring Dogecoin around a dollar fifty. So not just a dollar, but like a dollar fifty, dollar forty, give or take somewhere around there, right? And they say based on the convergence of Bitcoin volatility with gold volatility and the equalization of bitcoin and gold allocations in investors portfolios but bitcoin is ahead is headed to the milestone of being six times as volatile as gold giving a fair value of one six of 140k or 23k so it is very volatile that's why we dropped from 63k to 20k very very volatile unlike gold gold is actual physical asset so it's not as volatile so it has actual you know worth to it bitcoin's only worth what we say it's worth so JP Morgan and Chase said Bitcoin was worth nothing back then, which caused Bitcoin to go down because all the FUD with all these high institutions, these high earners, these high paying people. And then they drove the price down, bought your crypto at a very low price, and now they're buying it in. And now that they did that, they're going to wait till it rise, rise and rises. So it's actually in their best interest to see Bitcoin, Dogecoin, all that go up to 140K. So Bitcoin going to 140K would really help out JP Morgan and Chase. So they said the best we can hope for over the medium term is for the volatility ratio to partially revert from around times six currently to around times four by the end of the year. So they're saying we can, you know, multiply by four by the end of the year, bringing us close to 100K. So the fair value for Bitcoin at four times gold volatility, they say is $35,000. Needless to say, full convergence or equalization of volatilities or allocations is unlikely in the foreseeable future. 
So rolling one month correlation between Bitcoin and the SPX. So this is what they're saying here. Looks pretty uh, volatile right there, right? <laughs> up and down, up and down, up and down. That's pretty much what's happening. And they're saying the buzz that's driving this is the, um, all this, whatever they're talking about with Elon Musk. You know, they, a lot of people like to claim that Elon Musk has a huge stake inside of Bitcoin and crypto in general. But the truth is, is that one man cannot control the state of a whole currency, right? One man cannot control the state of a $1.5 trillion market cap. Like it just doesn't happen like that. Elon Musk has about, um, he has billions in, uh, let's go back over here to the Dogecoin wallets, right? He has about, uh, I would say a billion, uh, which one was his? So mm, yeah, this one right here, we actually believe actually, no, not this one. He has about 1.1 billion somewhere here. And, uh, where was this wallet? So, mm, actually no that's not his wallet there this one right here was believed to be it but we actually don't know 100 percent because it's just impossible to because it was actually in another wallet and then it was transferred to this wallet because this 3.5 billion doge was initially purchased at 1.1 billion dollars in the other wallet but since he changed it to this wallet it's kind of hard to track it but we don't know if it's 100 percent elon but go figure uh, he has about the same amount inside Bitcoin, 1.1 billion. But since Bitcoin went down, it's probably around 700 million, just like with that Doge wallet, right? So, more good news we have here: the Bit, uh, the Bitpartisan Crypto Bills pass U.S. House of Representatives again. So, the Blockchain Innovation Act and parts of the Digital Taxonomy Act were included in the broader Consumer Safety Technology Act. So the U.S. House of Representatives passed two crypto bills on Tuesday evening. The Consumer Safety Technology Act, sponsored by Rep. Jerry McNerney, read name right there, <laughs> directs the Consumer Product Safety Commission to establish a pilot program to explore use cases for artificial intelligence and commerce. The two blockchain bills, the Blockchain Innovation Act and the parts of the Digital Taxonomy Act. So remember that they're trying to tax heavy on here. So direct the Secretary of Commerce and the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, study and report on the use of blockchain technology and digital tokens the consumer safety technology act was approved in a previous session of congress passing so the house in the september of 2020 but was never approved by the senate and died at the close of the session so by reintroducing the bill and passing it onto the senate again mcnerney and his co-sponsors including longtime blockchain advocate rep darren soto are giving the bill a second chance so look the uh, House of Representatives, they passed it. They wanted out. They passed it. So it really is up to the Senate now. The Senate has to pass it because it has to go through both. And then once the Senate passes, the bill is good. But we have to wait. They already denied us once. They already denied it once last year. So we got to hope that they don't deny it this time, right? The blockchain bills are one of many in a series of attempts to provide regulatory clarity on digital assets, ownership, and management. Many in the crypto space are increasingly demanding regulation, claiming that the lack of legal framework strikes innovation. And look, we all know what happens with Binance. A lot of people lost millions of dollars in Binance. Actually, what happened, people aren't able to withdraw their money from Binance. Some people had their money withdrawn from Binance from Binance themselves. Like some people aren't allowed to log into their accounts. So much is going on that we need these regulations, right? There's been those um, allegations. There's been the allegations of the Tether scams. Like they're saying that Tether has like no liquidity right now. So if everyone wanted to take their money all out, they can't because of liquidity problems and so much different stuff with crypto. I tried to take $5,000 out of Binance and I was not able to do it. So I had to switch it over to another wallet and then I had to withdraw it from Voyager. And it's a pain with like everything that's going on with that there definitely needs to be more regulations because when you put your money in the banks i always say this it is insured you put a million dollars in the bank up to two hundred fifty thousand to five hundred thousand dollars and it's insured you put a million dollars inside crypto none of it's insured so we need to get this regulated so then we can get insurance on all of this because these are assets now they are they're actual digital assets so we need this regulation and yes of course they'll probably make their own government coin their own digital coin for the government which will be good because then it will bring more insurance into the crypto market and it'll make it more legit for the everyday american right and this that's a pretty good um statement right there itself like we definitely need this to be more solidified as you can say right so the last thing i want to talk about is elon musk development efforts that could have dogecoin going to the moon so this whole satellite thing the uh doge satellite one that is going to be an actual thing that happens and not only that 
Elon Musk is actually helping, you know, develop Dogecoin with the actual developers. He mentioned this on Twitter a while ago. So the Cardano co-founder, Charles Hawkinson, he's saying that it's actually pretty good that Elon Musk is doing this. And he said this could actually give, you know, Dogecoin some true value if he actually continues to develop on it with the Cardano or no, with the Dogecoin developers, right? So hopefully Charles Hawkinson can actually help with the development of Dogecoin because he's actually developing Cardano very well. Cardano has a lot of different use cases. It's being used inside of Africa and Ethiopia for the identity identity uh, things for children inside of schools and need that help over there. So this is actually a very good thing. Hopefully he can help with Dogecoin and it makes some use cases out of it. And that's pretty cool, right? So that's pretty much all I have for Dogecoin. And uh, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna continue to try to test this resistance, but we've been resisted too many times to uh, expect more. You know, you cannot expect it to just continue to like just shoot up, shoot up. Because like we tested a support line, our resistance line did not make it. Tested resistance again, did not make it. Tested it again, and now it's trickling down here inside of this um, consolidation period, which will probably result in us dropping it down again, coming back down about twenty one cents, possibly the um 15 cents area that's that's was a heavy support right there 15 cents so we definitely will not go below 15 cents but remember if we do have another correction then we can definitely test that support line again but hoping we don't test that support line so most likely 21 cents would be the next support line because we did have some good support back there so this is all i have for you today remember i'm not a financial advisor none of this is financial advice but if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button subscribe and check out the link in the description for a free stock with robin hood and we will and now voyager and i will be back with another video peace